Hi, I'm Miss O. Hi, I'm G. And, and we're, we're the, the Watching, Watching Dead. Dead. Uh, so here we are, season three, episode 13. That's a bunch of threes, yo. It totally is, man. It's Arrow on the doorpost. Arrow on the friggin' doorpost. That was mine. You throw it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're supposed to place it, but yo, let's just get on with it. <clears throat> and button. I love this episode. Because cool. we finally kind of see all of our boys together. Oh, that's what this is. Right, right. I'm down. I'm down. I want to do Foley. You want to do what? Foley. Like the sound effects? Oh. Uh, I could have used your help with sound a couple of nights ago. <laughs> it was bad, huh? Oh, God. Today I learned how to make the sounds of falling cheeseburgers. Raining cheeseburgers. I learned how to do that. Oh, snap. I want you gone. I heard about the raids, the heads, Maggie. Merle did that. No. You know what I'm talking about. You know all about me, and I know all about you. I don't care about any of that. We're here to move forward. He sounds like he's running for Congress. Always. He's always running for Congress. Maybe I should go inside. The governor thought it best if he and Rick spoke privately. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Milton no Mehmet. Great. He brought his butler. <laughs> his advisor. What kind of advice? Planning, biters. Uh, you know, I'm sorry. I don't feel like I need to explain myself to the henchmen. Yeah, watch your mouth, sunshine. Oh. You and I could be out here pointing guns at each other all day. Do me a favor. Shut your mouth. We don't need this. If all goes south in there, we'll be at each other's throats soon enough. Hugh Herschel? You're the governor. That's, uh, that's their term, not mine. Except that it's totally but still. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're holding to your people. Well, of course. I brought whiskey. <laughs> this could also be done in the Queen's English. Yeah. And it would be super fun. But then they're sitting down, especially after what happened. They're going to work it out, and nobody wants another battle. Well, you got to call it a battle. I would call it a battle, and I did. I recorded it. For what? Somebody's got to keep a record of what we've gone through. It'll be a part Morgan, of our history. His name's Morgan. That makes sense. <laughs> I've got dozens of interviews. Of favorite Christine. zombie kills <laughs> coming right up yes thank you <laughs> I love how they gotta like one up each other yeah man they should just whip their dicks out with their <laughs> measuring tape <laughs> happened. Juan Pablo, who I love. Uh, 
Camels. For menthols. Oh, God, gross. gross. Menthols for real? Yeah, dude. That's what the green you want is. <laughs> I gotta have my cowboy killers. Just hate these things. Uh, have to ask how you lost your leg. I love this. I was a bit. Oh, yeah, dude. So, you cut off your leg to keep the infection from spreading. Interesting. How long after the initial bite? Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> you didn't bleed out? We are good people. They took care of me. Doctors? No. We learned by trial and error. Me too. May I see it? Your stump, I'd like to, um... <clears throat> see where the amputation was, how high about the bite. I'm not showing you my leg. <laughs> it's important to have I just met you. At least <laughs> buy me a drink first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh, see, that's the kind of thing I would ask somebody in the same situation I care about my and I'm glad that Herschel was like that. In a way, this, uh, Dude, I could use a stiff Main drink Street. right now. Violet, that threat persists, <laughs> For no real reason. <laughs> the whole thing crumbles. It'd, It'd be awesome. It's your problem, your choice. Now, isn't that why we're here? I'm fresh out of alcohol. I don't keep any choice. on hand much anymore. Yeah, I'm like, I'm having my insomnia meds. If we choose to destroy mm -hmm. On account of having my insomnia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't mix those with alcohol. Yeah, not unless, you know, I want to suffer from a... We're going to kill everyone we know. Multiple organ system failure. At your prison. Back in the clutch in that fold thing. And put it short. Just to check in. You have to wonder how much of that story is true, though. Right? Yeah. You can do it. Why can't you? Because it's my brother out there. That's why. What's the matter with y'all? I'm not going to let you put them in danger. Not up already, boy. <laughs> this guy cops up the only real woman. And you pussy out like this. Truth is, I didn't want any of this. They chose me because there was nobody else around. Bull. You're a megalomaniac. They still think that I'm the man that can keep them safe. 
I know you got guns. Ooh, that was quite a stash you bought back the other day. Outstanding bargain. Problem with the deal with the devil is the devil never keeps up his end. Ooh. I give you the show. How do I know you'll keep your word? That you'll stop. The parallels. Mm -hmm. I don't want another day in rest. Most people would love to go and sit in on the set and watch the filming of this. I'd love to just sit and watch the post production. Wow. <laughs> I wouldn't bother the inside. people doing the post production. I just sit there and Position just observe. Around that feed store. The minute you see Michonne, you open fire. Kill the others, but you keep her alive. Told this you. This thing right here that told you oh, no, the devil right. never keeps his side of the bargain. Right. Fucking right. know it. I know it from like my own fucking past. Never make a slaughter. deal with the devil because he never keeps his side. That is a slaughter. Milton, just go to the prison, dude. You won't have to eliminate Rick sooner or later. The way we can all live side by side. The thing coming up between him and Andrea is me. I wish that Milton and Andrea had That's just run out. off to the Stop prison. Glad I could help. I need to find out where his recons are. You gave me a choice. A way out. What does he want? To show him. You've killed him. Anyway, what if he doesn't? What if this is the answer? It's not. Don't ever think that. Why didn't you tell him? They need to be scared. <clears throat> okay, so arrow on the doorpost. Man, that has got to be like a euphemism for something. Well, <laughs> And yes, that is exactly where I was going with it. There was wow testosterone. I know. Oh my god, it was just like, would you boys just whip them out and get the tape measure? <laughs> yep. Any Speaking of Andrea, she she had a tough time. Mm -hmm. This episode, and, and that's pretty much it. Yes. Um, Milton? Milton. Oh, I love Milton. He is... The, with he, he was sitting there with Herschel. Adorable. Mm -hmm. Just that whole thing. And then the part where he tells Daryl, I don't, I don't feel like I have to clarify this. <laughs> Yeah, and then Daryl calls him like the governor's butler. Yeah, dude. And I was like, I was just like, Daryl, that wasn't very nice. The governor was there. He was in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> like, the governor, who we also like to call the devil. Who you should not. Don't ever make, make deals, deals with, with the devil. G knows this. G knows a lot of shit. Word. 
G has learned many things in her life. <laughs> mm-hmm. Some of it's even useful. Damn. Some of it is purely theoretical. But the don't make deals with the devil thing, no, that's useful. Don't do it. They had their little meeting. And the governor is such a bastard. He's super clever. It's like, I don't understand really why he has to be the way he is. Why he he's so smart. He he's very clever. Mm -hmm. And the two don't always happen together as we see because Milton is extremely smart but not very clever. Right, right. Um the governor is clever, he's smart, he's charming. He's a sadistic bastard. Yeah, I, I don't understand why exactly he feels this need to destroy everything outside of his power base, other than the fact that he is a narcissistic megalomaniac. And I mean, I can that's the only explanation I can come up with. Like, I'm trying to go back before Michonne killed Penny Zombie. Mm-hmm. And I still... I mean, obviously that amped it up, mm -hmm. but that, that amped it up and directed it psh, at her, at her, and at any group that she was affiliated with. But it pre it pre existed her, yeah, because like there was said, a national guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when you said and like the part when he was telling about his wife, and I mean he told somebody else that she died in a car accident or whatever mm -hmm. um but at some point you have to wonder what and you know how much of that is real what really was going on with him mm -hmm. you know i don't know man it, it I don't yeah know. i mean that kind of megalomania and that kind of narcissism does not just happen yeah it's it's, um, it's always there. Mm -hmm. It's just, you have all these things going on with the governor, and they just, he could have been so much more, and he really could have been a force for good. Mm -hmm. He had so many gifts, and so many things that are so damn rare, and he could have used them mm -hmm. to, to rally forces together, and to save, you know, he had what seventy people, he, and he could have, um, he could have saved hundreds, thousands. He could have. Um, I'm thinking ahead, and it's fucking terrible. <laughs> yeah. And he could have rallied, you know, scientists and all, and had Jeez. Milton heading up uh, research divisions, and you know, potentially find a cure. But no, his own narcissism and megalomania would not allow that to happen. He destroys himself. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's fucking, it's tragic and terrible. He made it worse in a lot <laughs> of ways. But this was always there. Mm -hmm. This was not something that happened overnight. There's just, there's no possible way that this just, that he just woke up one morning and was like, you know, hey, I think I'm going to develop um, a, uh, a large dose of narcissism and megalomania and fucking bat crap crazy. You don't no. think it happened that way? Nah. <laughs> I mean, that'd be like somebody waking up one morning and saying, you know, hey, I think that today I'm going to just um, develop a... A habit of uh, brawling and womanizing <laughs> and, you know, crystal meth addiction and, you know, being a loudmouth racist ass and, you know, drifting around and dragging my little brother around with me wherever the fuck I go and, you know, just all around being a worthless son of a bitch. 
until I, you know, completely redeem myself. doesn't happen <laughs> it just doesn't happen yep anyway do you have anything to add i think we covered everything yeah, yeah we covered everything yeah i think we did anyway so for now i'm g and i'm miso and, and we're, we're the, the Watching, watching Dead. dead.